Hello YouTubers! Today what we're going to do is we are going to emboss on glassware today. Generally embossing is something that is reserved for paper. But I saw this idea on YouTube and thought it was pretty cool. And I've got a little cheat to help all the lettering be really pretty. So let's go show you what you need. Alright, so what you're going to need is some embossing powder. These um, Ranger powders have turned tended to be my favorite so far. Um, I have not had good luck with the glitter ones. I don't know if it's me or them. If anybody has any words of wisdom, please let me know because they're so pretty. But I've, t I've had the better luck with just the plain embossing powders, the Rangers. Um, also, you're going to need some kind of paintbrush because if the embossing powder gets heated up, even if it's not um, stuck to anything, it seems to be really hard to get off. So you want a paintbrush of some kind. Now, I've been using the pens for this. This Versa pen by far is the one that I like the best. These two little Ranger pens don't seem to do as well. So see, this is my tester cup um, with the Versa pen. And the Ranger cup seems to give a, a blotchier, a blotchier um, finished result. So, I mean, if you want a blotchy result, there you go. So, um, but I've been tending to use these clear Versa um, pens. And you're going to need some kind of little heat gun to heat up the bossing powder. Now, you are more than welcome to draw out. So this is just a render pen, and you can draw out whatever you want to and then emboss it that way. Mm, I don't have good luck hand lettering. So what I did is I took some Oracle 631. It's the uh, not permanent one. And I put it through the silhouette cameo. And then I've weeded out what I want, where I want my words to be. So this has been taken out. And then I found this transfer tape that has lines on the actual tape. Where has this been all of my life? So see, it makes lining things up so much easier. I'll put links down there um, in the description to all of the supplies. Also, one other thing. I'm going to tell you to hand wash these because it feels like that's what you should say. However, I put this through my dishwasher. Um, I thought, oh great, I'll put it through my dishwasher and then I'll get to have another crack at my tester cup. Yeah, it didn't change at all. So, FYI. Um, also, you can scrape it off if you just really sit here and diligently scrape. You can scrape it off. So, but let's get going. All right, so this is my little cheat. So what I do is I take, this is my vinyl that I've weeded and I take off my transfer paper and then I'm going to put I'm going to put this middle line right down the middle and technically you should get a scraper out Technically, you should get a scraper out and burnish it really well, but, you know, rules, rules. All right, so there we go. All right, so now if y'all weren't here, I'd probably put this in my lap and put it on that way. But this is another little trick. This is a Kleenex box that I just, I took out the center part after, after um, I was done using it. And so I wanted the little cactus part to, to be out, so... And, and you can go that way. Now, this is a lot like embossing. You really want it to be flat and no gaps. It's a little more forgiving than embossing is. But you don't want any gaps. it off. Alright, so what you want is no gaps. Do you see everything is flat and down? Alright, so I'm going to take my Versa pen. This is highly technical. It's clear, so I don't know how much of this you're seeing, but basically we're just going to squish it all on here. Do 
you do need to work a little fast because you the embossing won't stick if the pen is dry. So just squish it all on there and try to make sure you get everywhere covered. Now you're going to pour out your embossing powder over your design now. And make sure you have paper underneath. The other reason I like the clear is because you can see it on the back. And if you use the black marker, you don't want black. All right, so see, we got a pretty good, everything's covered. Now you're gonna take your paintbrush. It can be on the vinyl. The big thing you don't want it on is the glass. Cause once it's heated up, it's hard to get off. So that's what we want. All right, and then you can fold this up and attempt to get it all back in here and not all over the place all right so now what we need to do is heat it up with heat gun this is not a hair dryer it gets very very warm so keep that in mind um, and I seem to have done better putting it on a flat surface and then holding this in one spot don't do the hair drying thing and try to move it all over. And you'll watch it as it turns. All right, so I let this get mostly cool, at least cool enough to touch. Um, to peel it. I don't know what happens if you leave it for days. I've never been patient enough to find out. Um, this all covered really well. If it doesn't, you can put the pen on again and reheat it up and put some, basically do the whole process again and put some more embossing powder on it if you want to. And then we gently peel. There you go. Now these cups are from the Dollar Tree, which always makes for good, uh, good guinea pig wear. Now, if you have any issues, um, that one actually turned out pretty well, to see some of this blood. Once it gets cold, you can come back and scrape it off with a fingernail. And there you go. Something fun and different to do for your glassware. Also, I would also make sure that um, you leave room for them to drink. I don't know how, how safe this would be if you were putting your mouth on it all the time. Also, um, this glass is flat, which makes putting this on a lot easier. If you're gonna do a more curved wine glass, it's gonna be a little more um, challenging to get it all lay on there flat. So pick your, uh, pick your project wisely. But thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you again with another video. Thank you.